Hi guys, I'm Susie with the MediterraneanDish.com. Dinner bowls are all the rage lately and I want to show you my blueprint for how to make superfood Mediterranean grain bowls. These are filled with good flavor and also really good for you. We're going to start by making our dressing for the dinner bowls. A generous amount of good extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm going to add some lemon juice, freshly squeezed of course. A little bit or a lot of fresh garlic, whatever you like. I just mince a ton of garlic and leave it in my fridge. The recipe calls for about one garlic clove or so. And let's see here, salt, pepper. And I almost forgot, but we need a little bit of good Dijon mustard. There's really not a wrong way to do these. And I want to add a couple of my favorite ingredients now. They are sumac and za'atar. They are Middle Eastern spices that I use in a lot of my recipes. Sumac here adds a little bit of tanginess still. And I got za'atar, which is a mixture of wild thyme and toasted sesame seed. This is a great spice. If you haven't tried it, it will change your world. I'm gonna mix it up. And we can put this aside for now. With these dinner bowls, I like to mix things up. I have some fresh cut veggies and then I have some zucchini that I think I'm going to saute in some extra virgin olive oil, which will add a great touch to my grain bowls. You simply just slice it into rounds while your pan is heating up a little bit. I'm going to add just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to my pan. I'm gonna roll my pan to get that oil to coat the bottom of the pan. All right, our pan is hot enough now. We can add the zucchini right in and it will cook pretty quickly. These are looking good. And now we can start assembling our grain bowls while the zucchini cools off just a little bit. They're grain bowls, so they're gonna start with your favorite grain. You can use barley, farro, whatever you prefer in your pantry. I'm gonna use some farro and I like the nutty flavor of it. I'm gonna have some chickpeas that goes right next to it. These are brown lentils. You could also use cooked black lentils. I have some tomatoes now. Let's add some color to our nice bowl here. Onion. It's fun to add different textures to your bowl, make it more interesting. And feel free to use the veggies you have on hand. So if you have, say, broccoli or asparagus, or whatever you have that you want to get rid of. Let's do some flavoring. I'm going to add some olives, maybe a little bit of feta cheese. I'm going to add some avocados as well that I cut up. I'm going to add maybe a garnish of parsley. If you have arugula, all of that works in a Mediterranean grain bowl just fine. So use up those wilted veggies. Don't let them go to waste. See, this is the beauty of a grain bowl. You can add whatever you like to your grain bowl to make it wholesome and flavor packed. And I just like mine to have, you know, that lean protein. So I love my chickpeas. I love my lentils. Of course, we have the grains. And this gorgeous grain bowl is ready to pack for lunch. Eat it all week long. Head over to the MediterraneanDish.com for the full recipe.